What's up, guys? Anthony Blendy here. I'm here with Mrs. DePace. <laughs> Miss D. <laughs> um, Jen, Mr. Pace, we call her, I don't just, I don't know, friend. Um, <laughs> Jen's like, what are we actually going to talk about? And I actually really don't know um, until I just start talking. Okay. Um, so lately I've been doing these, these podcasts, these mm -hmm. Project My Life podcasts. Are you liking them, by the way? I do, yeah. All right, cool. Is I it do. too much? Nope. Would you be honest with me and tell I me? I would. Something? All right, cool. I I'm, just watched John's the other day. That was fun. Yeah. Right? And I'm really enjoying doing it's them. It's interesting, and, yeah. And I like to just give... They're different. You never know what you're going to get. That, that's that definitely true. Um, <laughs> so I, fart and dogs. Well, they, <laughs> I say all the time, believe in yourself, trust the process, and practice patience all over here in the studio. Yeah. I always say it after my every video. Um, for episodes 50 to 59, yeah. I want to bring people on from the studio who I felt a deep connection to, not only um, through their transformation process, but also as a friend and, you know, real recognizes mm -hmm. real. I say that all the time. Um, you're one of the real ones. We love you. Um, <laughs> Uh, I feel like I can be myself in front of you all the time. But anyway, which one of those, and then we'll okay. talk about your, your story, and okay. your, how you competed. We're not going to show any pictures because I know you don't want that into the yeah, inter yeah, interwebs, yeah. but we can talk about it at least, right? New Jersey bodybuilding is okay because nobody's okay. on that, <laughs> except for now. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so wh which one of those, those mantras that you, you feel like relate I to I would most? say trust the process because that's a hard one, you know, because um, the process is slow. And, you know, even when I, you know, last year when I was preparing for the show, I thought about that a lot because it was, the progress was gradual, but it was there, you know, and you could see it. But just trusting in that even if you didn't lose weight or you didn't see, go up in weights that week, that it was going to happen. And sometimes that's hard, you know, because you feel stagnant. You feel like nothing's changing and, you know, you're in the same place. Um, and even now, even more so now that I'm not doing the training I was doing, you know, as intently as I was last year. Um, trust the process is a little harder because <laughs> the process is even slower. <laughs> you well, know, with an injury, too, that well, was that's hard. That's another thing we can talk about. You've also, you're coming through an, an injury. You have yeah. some life things kind of smack you in the teeth, which yep. they always will do somewhere along the lines. Yep. Um, so let's talk about your, your competition real quick. Do yep. you mind sharing how old you are? I'm 53, yeah. Awesome. So I age? 50, 52 at the show when I did the competition. So those who... Bullsh use the bullshit excuse age. Um, here's living proof, and I'm gonna I'm gonna debunk all your you, bullshit you myths out say, there. You can't say, well, listen, I have three kids. I'm never gonna look the way I used to. I never thought I was gonna look that way, again, but I did. I don't know how to, I don't know how to top that one. <laughs> um, but talk about it. You were 50. What made you even What made you want to do a, a competition? Uh, seeing the the show prior to that one, the year okay. before, and some of my friends in it, and how much fun they were having, and talking to them afterwards, and they. They just said it was the greatest experience, and you know, it was just it's one of those things. I think like, oh, I think I could do it, you know, and I might as well find out if I can do it or not. So, I just kind of jumped in. It was a little scary. It was very scary. <laughs> now, now, were you before you started? You've been here for what, four or five years, three, four. It'll five? be four years in March. Yeah. Before that, were you doing any kind of fitness training or? Not like, really. No. Okay. I was in. I was in the. Uh, well, you know, I look good for my age face, you know. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know. And you use that as kind of like... like yeah, it's not so bad. But then I started feeling like crap, so. And I knew it was time I had to get back and just start doing some stuff. What was the turning point? You remember? Um, I actually... I can't say it's a turning point, but I remember it's because of the year my mom passed away. Prior to that, I had said to my husband, I want you to get me a membership at Body, because I knew people here, and I knew they had a lot of success, and I knew I wanted to try something that was smaller. I didn't want to go to a big place. Um, so he got me the, the gift for Christmas, and my mom had gotten sick right before Christmas. So she passed away in February, so I didn't start the membership until March. So I had it for like three months. So I can't say that was the reason, but it certainly, you know, got me into a different place in my life where um, I knew it was like, like you know, there's, you're not getting any younger, and if you really want to enjoy your, your, your older years, you better get yourself in shape because I don't want to be one of those people sitting around doing nothing all day and sitting on the couch thinking like, oh, I'm so old, my bones hurt, my, you know. I don't want to be that person if I can help it. If you can help it, right. Yeah, I mean, shit, life throws shit, some shit at you, but. Shit could happen, yeah. but you're doing everything now to prevent that from happening right. or at least yeah. whatever you could do to prevent it. Awesome. So what was your experience like once you finally committed to the show? What was your experience like going through that process? Um, it was amazing. I, I was so locked in the whole time. I mean, meeting with Karen, doing the food, like having that kind of control. I never felt like I had that much control over the food that I ate and my diet. Um, and then using the AMP program back there, 
and just having that every day, I knew exactly what I was going to do. You know, I just and I went through it. I just put the music on and I just went Zoned to out. a zone, and I was losing weight and my weight I was lifting more weight, and it was it was amazing. The whole experience was great. It was. Love it's a lot it. Of, it's a lot of time. Like it's a huge commitment. Um, I still meal prep every Sunday. Like that's something I never, I'll never stop doing. Um, but when you're in it, you really have to be in it. You have to like commit 100 percent because otherwise you're going to get on that stage and you're not going to look the way you thought you were going to look. So I get, we'll wrap like kind of come full circle. My shoulder's getting rocked right now. <laughs> you, um, need, you need a little. I, I do need something. Um, <laughs> I think I would be professional with this by now. Um, sorry, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, this, what were we talking about? The structure. Yeah. You think the structure had something to do with Absolutely. trusting the process, right? Absolutely, yeah. Gotcha. <clears throat> yeah, had, the, between the food, the food was the biggest thing, obviously. I mean, every, everybody says it, but until you actually do it, you know, I've always worked out hard. It wasn't until I actually really revamped my food, when I was eating, what kinds, how many proteins, how many carbs, how many, you know, until I did that, that's when I saw the huge transformation. I mean, I didn't lose, a, I mean, I lost a lot of weight, but that wasn't my issue, you know, it was, it was more about, um, Moving things around, I guess, a little bit. You oh, know? I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to make sure we're still um, on the camera here. Um, so that's not easy for people, right? No. They may get overwhelmed by that, right? Yeah. So any kind of quick tips you can share with anybody out there who – that because that, that's one of the most uh, valuable pieces, I feel like. One of the things like. I've always done, whether it's this or anything that I've – any goal I've set for myself before is really, truly – and it sounds weird, but I have envisioned myself where I want to be. You know, I've always kind of had in my head – um, teacher of the year, three years before I even got that, I, I thought about it. And I thought, like, you know what, that's, that's a goal. Like, I would love to have the kind of respect from your peers um, to think that you're doing that great a job. And, you know. So it's peer voted? Yeah. Oh, even cooler, man. Um, so there was that. And then there's anything I've done. When I went, did a 10-mile race, I would, the whole time I was training for it, I just envisioned that race the whole time. So, and the same with this. I just kept picturing myself on that stage, and I wanted to get up there. I, I, not that I didn't think I was going to win, but that wasn't the reason I was there. I wasn't there to win. I was up, be up there to be confident and have the best time, and I did. It was great because I did all the work to get there. Right, and it was more reward. It was more reward. Yeah, so I got up there and I could not stop smiling. It was the, it was the greatest experience. See, some people are going to think that's weird, but the people <laughs> who get it are not going to yeah. think that's weird because they understand that you got to put it in your thought process first before yeah. anything can actually come to fruition. And it, that does sound weird to some people. Yeah. And the people who get visualization, they're like, "No, I totally get it. That's awesome. Good stuff, yeah. man." So enjoy yeah. the process, practice patience, and believe in yourself, right? And you that's it. you find most valuable the the trust the process. Trust the process, yeah. Awesome. Hardest thing to do for me. I don't know anybody else, but that was the hardest thing for me is just because it is it can get frustrating. Like, I was locked in for the show, so it wasn't as hard then, but right. um, any other time, like right now is a tough time, you know, to trust the process because I'm trying to get back to, you know, I've put on some, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm cool with where I am right now, but I'd like to be in a different place. Um, so, you know, but having to, around this time of year, trying to make those changes again um, is hard. So, I'm like, all right, just weight doesn't just fall off you, you know? Right. <laughs> you gotta work. And you're also going through a little bit of an injury. Like Still recovering from that a little bit, yeah. It's, I'm, I'm like 90, 90% right now, so a lot better than I was. No, what, did you, what did you use? What got you through that? Because that's been a couple months you've been dealing with that now. Just, you know, well, actually talking to you, because I was feeling sorry for myself in the beginning. You know that. Um, but, and like what you said to me. What did, <laughs> like, I, oh, what did I say? I, you might as well just fucking give up. <laughs> just stop. Just stop working out. It's, it's not, not worth, worth it. it. <laughs> so I was like, all right, okay, that's a little bit of a wake-up call. So I just worked on my legs for a while when I couldn't use my arms, and, uh, and then gradually I just, you know, I did really light weights for a while, and then I tried different things, TRX rows, finally they worked, and, you know, and now I'm back up to, you know, almost where I was, so I just have to build up a little bit more weight, and uh, I'll be back at 100%. Now, if you didn't trust the process, you would have given up. Absolutely, yeah. Right? You know, yeah, I was in a funk, for sure. I see it, but yeah. you still grinded through, and you just showed yeah. up, even though you didn't want to. Or... Yeah, and then you feel like, you feel bad, because you're like, I can't really do that. And all the, the coaches were great because they're like, oh, no, do this instead. But I was always like, oh, I don't think I can do that. Right, right. <laughs> you know, you feel – there's a party that feels like a baby, you know, like, sure. like oh, you're nursing this injury. But I was just so afraid it was going to get worse. So. Yeah, and you're aware about it. There's nothing wrong with that. There's just like two sides of the coin. You have to know when to push, mm -hmm. and then you have to know when to pull back. But yeah. that's coming from awareness. Jen, thank you very much. I'm so glad, Thanks, glad that we were able to get this, you know, quick well, little podcast. we got podcast. on time. Okay. Oh, we're over time. Just a little bit, but I've, I've been doing, I've been pretty good with it. I'm, just, I'm trying to edit myself so I don't ramble too much. Oh, you did um, 
All right, Very you good. did too. I appreciate you. Believe in yourself, trust the process, practice patience. Jen will be posted uh, maybe tomorrow. All right. Any final words, parting words? Um, I don't know. Happy holidays. Happy, <laughs> happy holidays. <laughs>